Hi guys! Are you planning to set up a security camera system using the PoE NVR? But then you have difficulty to run a bunch of cable back to the main PoE NVR due to the distance or other challenges. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this problem by simply adding a PoE switch. Now don't hesitate to reach out to us through the link down in the description box below. And if you have any inquiries about your system design, our team is ready to assist you and provide solution to your problem completely for free. So PoE NVR stands for Power Over Ethernet Network Video Recorder. It is a civilian device used to manage and record video footage from the IP cameras. It is designed to work specifically with camera that can support PoE. Now, PoE is a technology that allows both power and data to be transmitted over a single Ethernet cable. It can also eliminate the need for a separate power set. That's why it makes it easier to set up and expand the civilian system since you can connect your cameras directly to your PoE NVR and without requiring of any additional power source. But then it also has few limitations. First of all, it has limited ports, so you can only add a few IP cameras on your PoE NVR. And second, since it is using the PoE technology, that's why it has the distance limitation of 100 meter. That's about 328 feet. So if you have to add more cameras or extend your distance, we can always add a PoE switch in this situation. Now let's move on to the demonstration board and I'll show you the setup for today. So let's check out our setup today. I'm going to connect three IP cameras at the edge. So in the beginning, we'll need the monitor, a router, and a PoE NVR. The monitor is already connected with the PoE NVR. So all we need to do is connect the router with the PoE NVR and then use another Ethernet cable to connect our NVR with the PoE switch that I mentioned. Now, PoE switch is a network switch that can provide both data connectivity and electrical power to PoE enabled devices such as wireless access point and IP cameras. Now it can offer convenience and simplicity in powering network devices. This one I'm holding is the 8 port WebSmart PoE switch. It complies with IEEE AO 2.3 AF and AT standard. And also for each port, can provide up to 30 watts of power. And the total power budget is 128 watts. Also, it has up to 1000 megabit per second data transfer rate. And you can see here, it can equip with two SFP slots for long distance, high bandwidth, and low latency fiber optic link. Now, I'm going to place it right here. And remember, PoE technology can have up to 100 meter distance. So from the PoE NVR to the PoE switch, we have 100 meters. And also from the PoE switch to the edge devices, we have another 100 meters. So the total distance is 200 meters. But one thing you should keep in mind, not all PoE NVR can support to add a PoE switch. And I'll talk about how to verify if your PoE NVR can add a PoE switch to get more PoE port after our connection.
So the whole setup is pretty simple, right? And now you can get extra PoE port for your civilian system. But remember that I mentioned using an external PoE switch is vendor specific. So we cannot guarantee if your PoE and VR can work with a PoE switch. And why is that? And the reason is because there are two kind of PoE and VR design. So for the first design, it used two different sublet for uplink port and PoE port. In this design, the PoE and VR cannot detect the camera from local network. Now for the second design, the uplink port and the PoE port use the same sublet setting. And in this design, you can connect the camera from your local network instead of the wear port of your NVR. Now, I'm going to show you how to verify if your PoE and VR can work with a PoE switch. And it's actually very easy. All you need is an IP camera. Now, you should first add your IP cameras to the network port of your router. Remember, it's to connect it with your router, not your NVR. And also, you will need an AC adapter to power up your IP cameras because the router does not support PoE. And if your PoE and VR can show the video on the monitor after you connect it, that means it is satisfied with the requirement. And now you can add a PoE switch to your PoE and VR. Because adding a PoE switch can add more ports to your system. And this is an 8 port PoE switch. We also have 16 port and 24 ports. It depends on your situation and the devices that you have to add. Now, feel free to leave a comment and let me know your thoughts about this video. And if you like our video, please like and subscribe our channel Fast Cabling. And also share it with the friends or family who might benefit from our video. And make sure you hit the bell icon so you can notify when I upload new videos. And thank you so much for watching us today. And I'll see you next time.